Well, hey there. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Let's do a video. Well, everybody, uh, today I want to talk about something um, that was used in an argument with me today. Uh, well, not me directly, um, but it was something that was posted to me. Um, and it was somebody who was trying to justify, first of all, they were making the statement that the law was never taken away. The law meaning, you know, all those rules that you were supposed to live by that are in the first five books of your Bible. Um, they said it was never taken away. Um, and then they tried to justify the law, saying that the law is necessary and it's a good thing that's needed. Um, like the law of gravity is a good thing for us. And um, those are two different things, first of all. Law of gravity is not a biblical or a scriptural law. It's the truth, um, but it's also been a constant. So when we use laws like law of gravity, laws of thermodynamics, things like that, you know, these are just things that we <clears throat> know to be constant and true. And uh, so, um, but the law was never a constant or a truth. Um, as a matter of fact, um, before the law, gravity was just as much gravity as it was during the law. And it's very much, then it's just as much gravity now after the cross. It never changed. It has been constant and true. The law was never constant and always. Um, before the law, you could eat pork, you could eat shrimp, you could, uh, you didn't have to worry about mixing your dairy with your meats and you didn't have to worry about mixing uh, a cotton shirt with wool pants. Um, after the law, it's the same way. Now, he says, though, the law was never taken away. And if anybody uh, moves away from the law or does not live by the law, he says that you are, then you are not covered by the blood of Christ, which is really very, very insulting to the blood of Christ. Um, and here's, here's why, number one. He's saying, uh, he, he was saying in this uh, argument, and uh, this is actually in a video, um, and he apparently is a Messianic Jew, and uh, um, which I think he's trying to use the fact that he's a Jew to credit himself with understanding these principles, which he, he couldn't have it further from wrong. It's, it's, he couldn't be more upside down, as a matter of fact, um, because according to him, unless you live by the law, you are not righteous, and then therefore, if you're not righteous, you're not deserving the blood. It's all backwards because the blood is what makes you righteous. You don't, the, the law is not the law of righteousness and life. It's, it's the law of sin and death, just the opposite. Righteousness and life is through the blood of, of Jesus Christ. And not only is that, he's denying what Paul said, that, that first of all, Paul said that we were set free from the law in Galatians, we were delivered from the law, um, and that the law itself was abolished in the body of Jesus Christ on the cross. So um, he is denying what Paul has said in multiple times, that the law was indeed taken away, and it was taken, taken away by the blood of Christ. And then he further tries to justify himself, believe it or not, with Hebrews chapter 10, where he says anybody who does ignore the law, they're trampling the blood of Christ asunder, and um, and they're worthy of death. He's actually trampling the blood of Christ asunder. It, in chapter 9, leading up to chapter 10, where he quotes that, it talks about how Jesus' sacrifice was for one time, never to be repeated again, and that when Jesus reappeared after the cross, he, he reappeared and without sin. Sin was gone. Sin was taken away. The law was abolished. And so that sacrifice was once for all time, for all time. And in what it's saying there is that there is no more sacrifice. And there was no more sacrifice also because there is no more law. Because the law calls for sacrifice every year. So there is no more sacrifice. So anybody who's saying that you are to live by the law, they are the ones who are trampling the blood of Christ asunder. He's got it completely backwards, folks. There is no law 
we are free. And that's the other thing he said. He says any pastor who says the law has been taken away and tells you to live by this freedom that they're talking about, then uh, he said they're not. You are not covered in that freedom. You are not covered by the blood of Christ. It's the opposite. Paul said it was for freedom that Christ set us free. It's very clear in Galatians what he said and why he said it. So he's talking about this freedom. Well, maybe he's afraid for people to have freedom because maybe he's afraid he of, of himself having freedom. And maybe he doesn't know how to live life if he doesn't have the Old Testament law. I got a suggestion. Paul said this many times. He referred to it more than anything. Knowing that the law was taken away, try love. He said there's only three things that remain, and love's the greatest one. Try love. You don't need a law. Anyway, folks, that's this week's video. Everybody have a revolutionary week, and I'll see you later.